Building any type of form can be quite complicated on WordPress, especially for those like myself with limited to no coding experience. However, the good news is with a no code form builder like WP Forms, you can create any type of form that your WordPress site needs. This includes email capture, booking, contact, payment forms, and many more types of forms. Now, in this tutorial, my focus is to walk you through the complete build and design process of WP Forms so that you can come away with a complete understanding of how to create your own custom forms that you can then add across your WordPress website. Okay, so to get started with building our own no-code forms on our WordPress website, let's jump over to the back end of WordPress and launch into WP Forms. Here we are inside WordPress. What you want to do is take the time to log into the back end of your WordPress website. Now, your dashboard is going to look slightly different to mine, and that's okay. Everyone's WordPress dashboard is going to look slightly different. And for the purpose of this WP Forms tutorial, I'll be diving into a WordPress website for a digital media and marketing agency called Cindio Media. Before we dive in, let's quickly touch on everything that I'll be covering today. First, we'll install WP Forms, then take a look at some awesome form templates. After this, I'll share how you can build your own no-code forms from scratch. This includes adding and customizing fields, as well as your form style, notifications, and other important elements. After this, we will add your form to your chosen page, and then share how you can further customize your form to match your website theme, branding, and styles. Also, I just want to say a big thank you to WP Forms for sponsoring this video and supporting our channel. For me, WP Forms is the go-to form builder when it comes to creating any type of form for WordPress websites. Okay, so once you've logged into your WordPress website, simply navigate over to plugins on the left-hand side and locate add new plugin. Then navigate up to the search bar and type in WP Forms. Then locate this free plugin over here, WP Forms Easy Form Builder for WordPress. This plugin is by WP Forms and has over 6 million active installations and incredibly high reviews. Now, first off, before we install this plugin, let's break down what this plugin is and what you can do with WP Forms. Well, if you're unfamiliar with WP Forms, it is one of, if not the most popular and beginner friendly WordPress form builders. This free no code WordPress plugin offers a drag and drop form building experience, making it a go to choice for easily creating any type of form that you can think of. You can simply create contact forms, feedback, booking, lead capture, subscription, and even payment forms, and add these anywhere on your WordPress website. Okay, so now that you're fully aware of what WP Forms is, let's go ahead and install this plugin. Now, it's important to note that it is best practice to back up your WordPress website before installing any plugin. If you're interested in learning how to back up your WordPress website in case any of your plugins or themes clash together and cause website issues, then I'll add relevant tutorials down below in the description that you can check out. Go ahead and click on Install Now, and then click on Activate. And once you've activated WP Forms, simply navigate over to the left-hand sidebar and click on WP Forms. Navigate down and click on Create Your Form, and click Let's Go. Navigate up here and click on Done, and then close out of this. Let's browse the thousands of pre-made form templates that we can choose from. If you like, you can build from scratch, or you can choose a pre-made template. These templates can also give you an idea of the type of form that you want to create. For example, if I navigate down to Marketing, here we have a newsletter signup form, and if we click on View Demo, this is a basic newsletter signup form that we can embed on our website. And this form would allow us to quickly capture email subscriptions and ultimately build our email list. If you like the look of a template and you want to get started with that particular template, simply click on Use This Template. For now, I'm going to head back to those templates. Then next to the newsletter signup form, we also have this lead magnet download form template. We can incentivize and capture our website visitors information in return for a downloadable gift. Okay, let's navigate back over to All Templates. Now, it's important to note that some of these templates you can only access if you upgrade to a premium plan. Today, we're going to focus on building a custom no-code form from scratch. And no matter what type of form that you want to create on your WordPress website, you can easily follow along and create your own form. For me, I'm going to create a custom quote form. Come down and click on Create Blank Form. And let's start creating your custom no-code form using WP Forms and their drag and drop builder. 
Again, for me, I want to create a form for capturing quotes. The idea is a website visitor will land on my contact page and I'll get back in touch with that potential customer with a free custom quote. Now to start building your form, simply navigate over to these standard fields, click on the field type and simply drag that over to this area here. As you can see, we have a first name and last name field. To edit a particular field, simply click on the field and over on the left hand side, we can make some customizations to this field. Here we can add a label. I'm happy with name. We have the field format. We have first and last, first and last name. If we like, we can change that. Then below that, we can add a description if we like. With each field, you can choose if it's required or not required. The name field is always required, so I'm happy with this. Then navigate over to advance. Down here, we can choose the field size. I'm going to change this to large. Down here for each of these fields, we can add a placeholder if we like. However, the first name and last name is self-explanatory. We do not need to add a placeholder in here. Now with each of our fields, we can customize the layout. And here we have those different options. This will make more sense when we add more fields and we'll come back to this shortly. Then if you upgrade to a premium plan, you can use Smart Logic. And this feature allows you to determine the visibility of each of your fields based on what your users are selecting or adding in your form. However, we're just focusing on the free plan. Now let's add some additional fields. Navigate back over to add fields and I need to capture the potential customer's email. Simply drag and drop the field type. Also, don't make your forms too overwhelming. You don't wanna to have too many form fields as it may reduce your conversion rates. Only add the form fields that you absolutely need per form. And again, with each of these different fields, you have access to the custom field options. Let's click on the email field. Again, I'm happy with general settings. We have the label down here. I can also add a description, but I believe that's not necessary. This field is required and I have the option to enable email confirmation. I want to ensure that the correct email is being added. So I'm going to enable this option. Then let's navigate back over to advanced. I'm going to change the field size to large. Then one last option I'm going to add for this email field is show smart tags. This allows for an automatic value to be added. I'm going to navigate down and locate user's email. And this will automatically generate the user's email if they're logged into our WordPress website. For example, if a user has logged in to add a comment on a blog, or maybe you have some form of membership, then the user's email will be automatically added in here. And this is just an example of how you can use smart tags. Again, smart tags can be very useful depending on the type of form that you want to create. Okay, so let's head back to add fields. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance and let's get back to the video. Now it's important to note that these standard fields are free fields that you can use on their free plan. However, if you upgrade to a premium WP forms plan, you'll have access to these fancy fields. For example, date and time, address field, custom HTML field, a signature field and more. Now two powerful and incredibly useful WP form fields that are available on the pro plan include the repeater and the conditional layout fields that can be accessed inside layouts. With conditional layout fields, you can show or hide a section on your form depending on what the user selects on your form. This essentially increases the personalization of the user experience. For example, if a user selects a specific option on your form, then automatically based on what you've set up, new fields could pop up or be hidden based on that user's selection. This allows you to personalize the user's experience. Again, this can be done inside the layout field and the repeater field allows you to drop in any field into the repeater field and users have the option to add additional fields themselves. Essentially, as the user is filling out your form, they can add more information by adding additional fields by clicking the plus icon and you can add a repeater to any of your fields. As an admin, you can control how many times a user can repeat a field. For example, if a user wants to add multiple files or content to a specific section, or maybe even additional website URLs, then all they need to do is click the plus icon next to the field and add their additional details. Again, this is another popular way that you can personalize the user experience. Those two features are found inside the pro plan. And if we navigate down to payment fields, you can integrate these payment field options. However, with the free plan, you do have these other options. 
Okay, let's navigate back up to standard fields. I'm going to add this single line text field and I also want to add this numbers field down here. Let's click on this field option here and change the label to website URL. Again, we can add a description. For example, please add your website URL if you have an existing website. This is not going to be required, then navigate up to advanced. Again, I'm going to navigate down to field size and change this to large and then add a placeholder text. And this placeholder allows the potential customer to be aware of how I would like them to add their website URL. Okay, so I'm happy with this field. I'm going to navigate down to numbers and change the label to phone number. Again, I don't need to add a description and this field is not required. Then I'm going to navigate over to advanced and similar to the above fields, I'm going to change the size and leave everything else as it is. Now, once you've made any changes, simply navigate up to save. And let's go ahead and preview what this form currently looks like. And as you can see, this is our form preview. We have the name field, first and last, the email field, email and confirm email fields, website URL, and phone number. I want these to be placed next to each other, similar to these field options up here. That way the style is going to look similar. To do that, navigate back to the WP Forms drag and drop builder, then come down. I'm first going to click on this field here, and then navigate over to show layouts, and I'm going to select this side-by-side -side layout, and I want the website URL to be on the left side. Then I need to click on this phone number field, again, show layouts, this same side-by-side -side layout, and then click on the right side. Then navigate up to save, and let's preview those changes. And as you can see, the website URL and phone number field are now side-by-side. -side. I'm happy with that. Let's head back to the WP Forms drag and drop builder, and then navigate over to add fields, and this time I'm going to come down to multi-choice, click, drag and drop, and place that below phone number, and then click on multi-choice. And with this field, I'm going to change the label to what service are you interested in? For me, I'm going to navigate down here and add my three choices. I'm happy with those choices. I can also rearrange these if I like, or I can add another option. I'm happy with three options for now. Then navigate down here and choose if you want to use images or icons. Alternatively, you can leave it as a selection that looks something like this. For me, I'm going to add images of my services. All I need to do is upload the image for each service. Here's the first image I want to use. Then add the image alt text, title, and description if you like, and then click on use image and then do the same with your other choices. I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, I've quickly added those options and images. Again, you can add a description if you like. Then navigate back up to advanced. Here you can choose to randomize choices, then choose the layout. I'm going to select three column and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to navigate up to save and let's preview what our form looks like now. If we navigate down our form, you can see we now have what services are you interested in? this multi-choice and the potential customer can select the option that they're interested in. Let's navigate back to the form builder. Again, I can come down and choose if I want to make this required. Let's navigate back up to add fields and I'm going to add one more field option and that is paragraph text. And I want to add this below multiple choice. Click on the field. Again, I'm going to change the label, share more details about your project requirements. Again, this is not required. I'm going to navigate over to advanced change the field size to large. Then under placeholder text, for example, what issues are you facing? Here we can choose to limit the length if we like, and again, show smart tags and show layouts. I'm happy with this form, so I'm going to navigate up to save. Now, one more quick feature that I want to touch on when it comes to creating your forms is leveraging AI choices. This AI feature allows you to quickly create your choices for your users. For example, let's navigate over to drop down and add this field over here. Then click on the field and you can see we have these choices here. First choice, second choice and third choice. We can add additional choices here or what we can do is navigate over to generate choices. Leveraging AI will help you save time when creating your choices. And that's what WP Form successfully does. They help users quickly and easily create forms using powerful features like AI choices. Let's navigate down here and use AI to help us generate our options. I've added top five online marketing services that small businesses are interested in. Let's hit enter and I'm happy with these top five options. We can build on this prompt if we like to help AI generate a better response. I'm happy with this. So I'm going to navigate up to insert choices. Then I can add a description down here. What marketing activities are you currently engaging in? And these are the five choices. And just like that, it's easy to leverage AI to save you time when generating choices. Okay, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually going to remove this drop down and click on OK and then navigate up to save. 
Now, if we navigate to the top of our form, you can see that our form is called blank form. To change the name of your form and other general settings, simply click on the form up here and that will take you to general, then name your form, then add your form description. Then once you've added your form description, navigate down to submit button text. Here you can change this to anything that you like. I'm happy with submit. Then here we can choose the submit button processing text. Again, I'm happy with sending. Then navigate up to save. Next, you may want to add recapture to your forms. Recapture on your forms allows you to reduce spam and abuse happening on your website. Or you can add recapture later on if you feel you're getting a lot of spam. It only takes a few minutes and I'll add the relevant tutorial down below in the description if you're interested in learning how to add recapture to your forms. Next, let's go ahead and add our form to our website. To do that, simply navigate up to embed, then come down and we have a few options. We can select an existing page, create a new page, or we can embed our form manually or use a short code. Let's go ahead and use a short code. Come down and copy this short code. Hey, just quickly, before you get back into this tutorial, if you're getting value from this video, please drop a like and subscribe. This means a lot to me and ultimately helps us reach and help more small business owners across YouTube. Thank you in advance. And with that quick note, let's jump back into this video. Then jump over to your website page that you want to add this form to. First, I'm going to show you how to embed the form on your WordPress website using Divi. Here we are on my contact page. Then what I can do is click here, add a text module, type in text, and here's the text module. Then simply navigate over here and delete this default text, and then click on text next to visual and add the code in here, and then click the green tick. And as you can see, your form has been added in here. Now, what about with Elementor? With Elementor, what we can do is navigate down here, click on the structure that we're after, then navigate up to this section, then type in code and locate short code, drag and drop, and paste in your short code over here and simply navigate up to apply. And that's gonna add the form into that section that you created with Elementor. If you're just using the standard WordPress block builder, then it's also a similar process. Inside the back end of a page, simply add a block from up here or navigate down here and type in forward slash and locate short code and add your shortcode in here. And that's going to embed the form onto your page. Now back inside our dashboard, what about our form entries? At the moment, because we're using the free version of WP Forms, entries are available through email notifications. However, if we navigate over to entries, you can see that we need to upgrade to WP Forms Pro. However, to manage form entries inside WordPress, what we can do is install a free plugin. This means we do not need to upgrade to a paid plan. To do that, simply navigate over to plugins on the left-hand side and locate add new plugin. Then navigate up to the search bar and type in database for contact forms. Then navigate down the page and locate database for contact form 7, WP forms and Elementor forms. This is going to allow us to manage all our entries, our form submissions directly inside our WordPress account. Simply navigate up to install now and click on activate. Then simply navigate over to CRM entries over on the left hand side, then simply navigate up to form entries of and select the form responses you want to manage. Remember we created this free quote form and as you can see down here this submission has been made. Here we have the form fields, name, email, website URL, phone number, what service are you interested in and then the date the form was submitted. We can filter the fields if we like, let's close out of this, as well as the times. Do we want to see all submissions from today, yesterday or last month? If I click on this response, that's going to allow me to view that submission. And here we can see the form details. We can also add internal notes if we like and other details on the right hand side. Okay, so that's how you can manage your form submissions directly inside your WordPress account using CRM entries. Next, let's navigate back over to WP Forms and click on the form that we're working on. And what we can do is navigate over to settings and customize notifications. And here we can customize the notifications coming from this particular form. For example, send to email address. The form response will be sent to the admin's email. You can also choose to add additional emails in here if you like. Then add an email subject line. I'm going to change this to quote form submissions. And the from name is free quote. Make sure you add your correct email in here. This is disabled for me because I have WP Mail SMTP plugin installed. Now, if you find that your form submissions are not arriving in your email inbox, 
I will add the relevant tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. Again, that is if your emails are not working with your form. Then come down to reply to, click on show smart tags, and then navigate down and click on email. And this will automatically reply to the email that was submitted in our form. Then down here, I'm happy with all fields. Once you've made those changes, navigate up to save. Then navigate over to confirmations. And here you can customize your confirmation message if you like. At the moment, it's a message. We can change the confirmation type to show page or go to URL. For example, if you have a thank you page, you can send the potential customer, the website visitor directly to the thank you page. We can also navigate down and add smart tags if we like. And we also have the option to show entry preview after confirmation. Again, this is only on the pro plan. So I'm happy with this confirmation. Again, if you like, take the time to customize your confirmation type and message. Next, what we're going to do is close out of this. And now I want to show you how you can further customize your form so that the form style matches your branding and website theme. This is using another free no code plugin. Simply navigate over to the left hand side and locate plugins again and click on add new plugin. Then navigate up to search plugins and type in WP forms and locate styler for WP forms. Go ahead and click on install now and then activate. Then navigate over to appearances on the left hand side and locate customize. Then navigate down to styler for WP forms, click on select WP form and select the form that you've just been working on and then click on OK. Then navigate over to the page that has the form that you embedded on your website. And as you can see, if I navigate down here, we have the form that I embedded. On the left hand side, using this free plugin, we can now customize this form the way that we like. For example, we can click on form wrapper and we can add a background image to our form if we like. As you can see, I'm going to remove that or you can add a background color. Simply choose the color you want to add. I'm going to clear this or we can come down and add a border. I'm going to add this blue color and change the radius to 50. I'm happy with the solid type. I can change that if I like. And then the size, I'm happy with five. We now need to add padding, 25 works for me. I like the look of that. And then we can navigate back. We have all these different customization options that you can play around with in order to customize your form the way that you like. Everyone's form's going to be different, so take the time here. Then when you're ready, navigate up to publish and those changes on your form will be made public. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this WP Forms tutorial. You now know how to create your own custom and no code form using WP Forms. What I like is it's incredibly beginner friendly. The free plan is sufficient enough for most small businesses and WP Forms works well with other external integrations as well as other plugins like I showed you in this tutorial. And that is it for this no code form builder tutorial for WordPress using WP Forms. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.